Hello everyone, Andy Hodges for Sebastian Daly. Today uh, I'm with Indian River County Sheriff Eric Flowers. We're at the Saltwater Marina in Sebastian. Eric, thank you so much for coming back up to Sebastian and talking with us. Yeah, absolutely, Andy. You know, I think our community, uh, at least the Sebastian area, really dodged a bullet uh, oh, with yeah. the most recent storm. Uh, our folks down in Vero are not in as great a shape, but there's a whole lot of folks who really have no damage and the areas where those four confirmed tornadoes landed are really quite devastated. There were so, four of them. Four confirmed uh, oh. through the National Weather Service in Melbourne. Yeah. We had four confirmed tornadoes touch down in Indian River County. Oh, and wow. so one was down in the Oslo area. Um, one was beachside in that Central Beach area. Um, one was over off of 14th Avenue near the police department. Yeah. And then um, one was further down in the Highlands. So um, four that we know of, we had sightings of others that we don't know if they touched. People saw them spinning above their houses. They heard things, yeah. but we know for sure based on the damage. And it's really, you know, I've never been through any tornadoes before. And so to see the path of destruction so clearly it's really quite unbelievable. I mean, yeah. you can tell exactly where the tornado hit and where it didn't hit because wow. there'll be a business that's perfectly fine. And then on the other side of the street, one that's just demolished and in trouble. Like so, in uh, downtown Vero. That downtown happened. Vero. So that one kind of ran from the police department up north to the veterans building. The roof on the veterans building is almost completely gone. Oh, wow. So a lot of, lot of really sad damage um, out there. And so we spent the last, uh, the last 24 hours working with folks. We brought out 20 inmates, um, 20 of our corrections deputies. Um, we've doubled our patrol presence. And so last night they got extra patrols in all those areas without wow. power, making sure that we didn't have any looters or anything. And so, um, you know, we really been focused on recovery at this point. And so today when I leave you, I'm headed back to the, to the beach side. Our team surveyed 14th Avenue. They had a lot of the trees were taken care of. And so there's still a lot of churches and other areas that have massive damage. And so yeah. our inmates and our corrections teams are there cutting some of those branches, getting them ready to get moved out of there. And so we're just trying to help out as best we can. Now you've had a search and uh, rescue thing going so on. So and... that was right after the tornado hit. So the tornadoes hit in the six o'clock hour between six and nine, yeah. we were out in that beach area taking folks out of their houses that were in it uninhabitable. We put them in the jail bus, transported them to a shelter and just stabilized them because we knew the storm was coming in around 10. And so we had yeah. to get everybody out of, out of there in the safety. And so uh, rescued a lot of people. Our team did an amazing job and it was truly a multi-agency effort. I mean, from fire department, Vero Beach Police, Indy River Shores, our team, we were all there together working to get those folks to safety. And so I'm incredibly proud of everything that happened out there. Now we're in recovery mode. Yeah, it's amazing how it's almost like the worst of it came before the storm. Absolutely. If we did not have those tornadoes, Hurricane uh, Milton would be not even a discussion yeah. in Indian River County. Amazing, mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Well, and the thing is, we talk about tornadoes every single time. Yeah. We always talk about, you know, the dangers of tornado activity. And we were not we were expecting, you know, cat one level storms yeah. here. I talked about tornadoes every single time but I wasn't expecting it, nor was anybody else. True. And so um, we really saw how bad that can be. And so St. Lucie, of course, is much worse than us. In oh, the yeah. middle of our response, they were asking for a hundred people to come down. We sent wow. our national wow. guard that was here wow. to them to assist. They got a couple hundred people from Miami that come up and help with the, the search and rescue team. Um, but they had a lot of area to cover. And unfortunately, you know, we had enough to cover our area, but we had to send the national guard down to them to help out. Wow. Now, I know you've been in the emergency management meetings and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, did, uh, there's a lot of people without power in Sebastian. Is that the same for Vero Beach? So or? yesterday when I left there, it was about 25% of the county that was without power. They're trying to prioritize the businesses and the larger, the easy stuff. They want yeah. to get as many people online as fast as they possibly can. A lot of people came back online overnight. The most difficult areas are going to be the areas where the, the infrastructure was damaged. Yeah. So the beach, you know, there's a lot of transformers they can reset, areas that are yeah. simple to fix. Those will be coming online in the next 24 hours. The areas that have significant damage to the infrastructure is going to take more time. Wow. Uh, so the original Indian River uh, seafood market is giving out free ice today. Awesome. So if yeah. you're without power, you need ice, you can go to the seafood market. It's on Old Dixie Highway. We'll put something in the caption of the video on the uh, directions. 
and also a lot of businesses are opening today. So Woody's yeah. was open last night. Yeah, that's um, true. There's, there's you know, Walmart. Hirons. Yeah, a lot of places are opening. So if you're in need of something, supplies are here. You're, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, don't sit at home in fear. You can get out and get things. There's still plenty of gas. Yeah. There's no reason to, to be panicked right now. There's plenty of supplies. Well, Sheriff, thank you. Your agency has been very nice to this county and Sebastian. Uh, we want to thank uh, first responders because I know there's a lot of people out there working and they've been on the clock ever since this storm hit. I want to specifically thank our dispatch team. They took thousands of calls oh, during yeah. this. You can imagine when tornadoes hit, when these things happen, people call in with crazy questions. And you know, we, we talk about the hotline all the time, but our dispatchers are true unsung heroes. I want to make sure you give them credit. Incredible that our corrections team was able to come out of the jail and help out a little bit. That so is excited, amazing. Excited to see those yeah. guys getting to do some fun things outside of the jail. Yeah. And of course, all of our first responders, all of our agencies worked amazing together. Uh, you know, it was a seamless, from from fire to law enforcement everybody just did an amazing job and of course all of our folks uh, out there in, in the healthcare you know everybody that was working in this from mental health to the hospital we've been in contact with them so thanks to everybody who worked through the storm you have an amazing corrections department you uh there's something happening in november right uh, with, uh we have the clay shoot coming up for the florida sheriff's youth ranch yeah uh and then we have all, constantly ongoing events uh in corrections we just had our first um barber day national barber day we brought in um, that's folks right. yeah. who could do haircuts and one of our inmates actually is certified so we were giving out free haircuts to the community uh, we have our flow uh, bus which is the license on wheels where we're giving uh, licenses to our inmates if they don't yeah. have their id there's constantly events over the jail keep an eye on our social media we'll keep pushing that out great uh, Sheriff Flowers, thank you for, for your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate right. the coverage. Andy Hodges with Sheriff Flowers in Sebastian.